Hi everyone, um, this week's art journal prompt, week 44, is autumn or fall. Um, I decided that I was going to do a whimsical Halloween page. Um, I've grabbed some dilutions, inks that I'm going to be using for my background. I've got bubblegum pink, cherry pie, squeezed orange and lemon zest. So I'm just spraying some colours down on, this is my Teflon oven liner that um, I use for, for this kind of thing. <coughs> There we go and I'm just going to spray that with a bit of water as well because I just find that it makes the ink go a little bit further. Um, bring in my mixed media paper and I'm just going to dip the paper um, in. I'm just going to keep picking it up and moving it to make sure that um, I've got colour all over my page. There we go. Right, so now I want to bring in uh, my stencil and I'm using my Creative, Express uh, Creative Expressions mini stencil and I'm going to spray on some water to start off with because these will react with the, with the water and then I'm going to flip it over and press down um, again and then we'll leave that for a minute um, for that to activate and then bring in the wipe and rub off and you can see that um, that's left some texture for me as well and I'm going to spray some of the yellow and I'm going to flip it over and this is just adding some subtle texture to my background. This is a technique that um, I got from a course that I did with the lovely Kate Crane. Um, I took her journal soup one and two. Um, oh gosh, it must be about two, three years ago, something like that. And I will put um, a link um, to the course below because if you like this whimsical kind of thing, um, her course is definitely worth worth taking. Some really useful tips and things. It's It's just lovely. And then I think I want some of the cherry pie as well. So I'm just going to put my stencil back over. Whoops. And then we can flip that too. And then I can dab that off in a couple of places. so that I'm not wasting um, the ink and I think I'm going to leave that be for the time being. Now what I want to do is I've got um, a piece of scrap mixed media paper that was um, left over from the sheet that I'd cut to size. I'm going to spray the back of the stencil that I've been using with some water and I'm going to dab off on this piece of mixed media paper just so that I can use this for something else. I could make a tag maybe, um, but I've got this left over now for um, a future project. Right, so that's had a quick dry and I want to come in now with um, a couple of my stamps. These are the Dilutions stamps from the, their background collection and um, I've got my diamonds and my jumbled numbers. So I'm going to start off with the jumbled numbers and I'm using a red um, ink here um, I want to keep my colours fairly um, similar so that I don't end up with a background that's just too overwhelmingly busy. And I just want just a few of the jumbled numbers like that. Then I've got my Spiced Marmalade um, Distress ink here. I'm going to add some of the um, diamonds um, as well, just so that I'm keeping my colours and my shapes um, all in sync just so that I don't end up with anything that's too overpowering and too too busy. So I'm continuing with the with the layering. Let's add a little bit more here and maybe a bit up here and I'm going to let me just put the lid back on that and I'm going to draw or try attempt to draw some kind of a spider's web. Oh, hang on, sorry, I'm gonna to have to get my head in. I haven't drawn that on properly. There we go. I'm 
I might even decide that um, I should have drawn this a bit um, a bit bigger. We'll see. And I'm just adding some spiderweb details like this. So I just went over my lines with a slightly thicker liner pen and I think I'm happy with that and then I think I'm going to have some kind of spider um, dangling down. I'm going to go back to my finer pen because I want some bats. So I'll have a few So I'm going to continue to do this and colour them them in. I'll do that off camera so that I can get up close so that I can see what I'm doing. And when I've finished, I'll come back. OK, so this is how my page is, um, is looking. I've um, added a few more bats and, um, and filled them, coloured them in just with my black marker. And then I drew a whimsical witch on a piece of um, just, just sketch paper and stamped out a cat. This is from um, just a cheapie from, from Hobbycraft again. I think it was 99p, Le Chat Noir. And um, I've stamped um, the cat out and, and cut it. I photocopied my, my witch um, and fussy cut her out. So they're going to sort of be applied here. And I want to use some, some washi tape um, as well, just to give the witch a platform to stand on. Um, move those out of the, the way. So there we go. So I can glue that down in a minute. And then I want to add my spider. So I want my spider, I think I want the spider coming from here. Something like, like that. So I'm going to grab my marker pen um, again, and my liner pen, and just draw, draw a line. There we go. And in fact, I think I'll grab my Sharpie, which is a little bit thicker oh, that's the really thin one never mind we'll stick stick with this and I just want to have a spider so let's just draw a spider on and let's have some there we go so there we go we've got our spider and then I've got my quote here, always take um, the scenic route. Always take, let's cut that off. Trim this up a bit. Again, this is from the Tim Holtz chit chat words. Always take, I thought that was quite fun, always take the scenic route. <laughs> my silly sense of humour, there we go, always take the scenic route so I can sort of glue those glue those down so I'm going to go and have a play um, with that and then I want something else down here and I haven't decided what yet so let me have a think about that and I'll come back I added um, a pumpkin um, in the end to this um, bottom right hand corner um, and I've just blacked it out um, as all the other images and I've just used a Posca paint pen and a jelly roll pen just to add a little bit of, of detail um, I've used my Posca paint pen just to outline um, my quote and just add a little bit of detail on the cat and the, the witch. Um, eyes to my spider and then a bit of detail um, on the, the cobweb as well. And I'm toying with the idea of putting um, an arrow. This is the one that I made out of kids craft foam. So always take the scenic route. And I'm thinking that maybe I can have an arrow there. Um, let's just go for it. So I've got my memento um, stamp pad here. So I'm just going to, let's have a look, stamp that down, there we go, 
there we are so that's that's done now and I can always go over that um, as well in some some black ink which I shall probably do and whilst I've got my um, ink pad out I'm just going to go around the um, edges here so I've just inked it up and I'm going to come in from the from the right hand side and just come in and just sort of add a bit of shading just to sort of add to the add to the scene. So here we are, I've glued my page into my journal. Um, not a lot has changed. I think I've just added a couple of extra doodles, that's all. Um, so if you like that, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, so I really look forward to seeing what um, everybody else decides to create. Um, some of you I know were expecting Deb um, back this week. She's um, hit a few issues in her apartment and um, isn't quite unpacked yet. So she'll be, she'll be back when she's um she's ready but um take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now